Hi guys, welcome back to another Technical Tuesday episode. So today we are going to look at five pairs. Ken will be starting, not Caleb this time, so I'm the one who's starting. And I'm going to look at three pairs, then maybe Caleb will look at two pairs. So apologies for not shooting the way we normally do. We are tied up with some few things that we're trying to make up. We're trying to organize some one or two things, but once we are done, we'll be back and I'm sure you guys will also be able to appreciate what we'll be working on. So generally nothing new, nothing much. I'm going to do the normal technical breakdowns, share with you at least three setups which I think are highly probable and are likely to be profitable and then we'll take it from there. So what I have on my chart now is gold. So I look at gold, euro USD and maybe GBP USD and we'll be done with the technical Tuesday this week. So gold on the weekly chart, what are we looking at? So last week gold had a very good move breaking past the 1750 mark which was a good resistance level for quite some time and i think gold is well set up to rise all the way to 1850 so i'm looking for 1850 as my next ultimate target on gold and if you just plot the fibonacci then you can see 1850 is aligning with a 61.8 extension on the fibonacci on the one day chart if you look at the one day chart then you can see that clearly we have a channel here and a consolidation within the channel so we have one bounce then we had this maybe it was sort of a flag then now this is the continuation aligning so based on the daily chart we can look for 1825 as the first target and then we can look for 1850 and ultimately even 1900 before this move is so you can see uh, 1825 is the first target for this week or probably next week and then you can even go to as far as 1900 especially if you can be able to get a close above 1850 mark so that's my outlook on gold on the four hour chart if you didn't get an entry then you can jump on it where it is but you use a wide stop and if you have not yet jumped you can wait for this move i think to some point i think we still have some 50 pips to the downside at least to whip through this level before the move is finally on so if you use the tag stops there's a high chance when this move comes it'll be kicked out of the market but if you use wide stops then you can be able to weather this move if it comes and at the same time you can avoid missing on this move if it doesn't come so that's my outlook on gold i'm looking for 1800 as the first level on the four hour chart then 1825 and ultimately 1850 so that is what i'm looking for on gold i think it's a one-way bet on this one i don't have many probabilities and you can be able to jump on this one and at least make 300 400 pips and on some good some position on some good position sizing you can make some good amount of money so that's my outlook on gold and i'll go down to the next pair next i look at gbp usd and so early in the morning today i received some good news some bad news that the uk economy contracted the most in 40 years and that's some pretty bearish news for this market so long term i'm looking for this one to keep falling at least to the 1.15 1.1 mark but since i don't trade long term i don't tend to hold positions for that long i tend to come in and out depending on what the market is doing so i'm more of a trader than an investor so if i go to the daily chart what am i looking for in the daily chart i'm looking for a drop all the way to the 1.2 1.175 mark and if you look at the chart skin, you discover this was a drop, a consolidation, a pullback, a drop. And then this was just a pullback. So if you measure the pullback, you discover that this was a retracement to the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. And this means there's still some big downside on this market. So I'm expecting the markets to at least keep falling all the way to the 1.11 mark, which is the next downside target. On the 4-hour chart, what am I looking for? I have this channel well mapped out and you can see the markets are well aligned for a drop at least to the 1 1.1250, 1.1, 1.1, 1.2, 1.50, 1.20. So we capitalized on this move for those who are in the subscription platform. I've been riding this move lower and we are currently up over 400, 500 dollars on this move so we expect this market to keep plunging all the way to the 1.2 150 meaning there's still some 100 pips to the downside 
so you can jump into this one currently we are trading at the 2260 so early in the morning i again scaled in at the, the 1.23 level expecting this 150 pip drop to the 1.2160 so you can probably wait for a drop uh, pull back to this level before we get this move and you can come in or you can just jump in but expect a pull back to touch this level before we get this move lower so risk reward ratios you can bring your stop now at the 1.23 level meaning you take your stops past break even to prevent your profits from being wiped out in case the markets go back up so these are some of the things we share on the subscription platform and if you can jump on the signal program you can be able to receive some of these ideas and how we use them in the market so that's my outlook on pound and i'll go down to the next pair that i'll be looking at euro usd so on the euro the narrative is still the same i expect a drop a big drop in fact so i'll sell i'll give you this trade for free about 700 pips drop which is a long term trade and i'm sure even if i gave you the trade even if i told you where to place your stop losses due to human nature due to lack of mastery over your emotions 85 percent of you will still not make money with this idea and i can bet that i can bet my money that 90 percent of you won't be able to weather when the markets will be moving you'll either come out too quickly or some move will scare you out of your position something will just happen and i'm sure most of you won't be able to whether the down move as the markets will be going lower so anyway we have this trend line on the we weekly chart and you can see clearly that the euro has been on a downward spiral for quite some time now and we expect this downward spiral to keep on moving especially with worst cases in corona and reopening and closing of some of the economies again due to mounting number of cases you can expect this number this pair to keep on falling all the way to the 1.05 major level so that's my outlook you can see my stop loss is placed up there this is actually a long term trade so i'll be holding this trade for a very long time probably three or four months before this target is hit but you don't know how fast volatility will be and what will catalyze some of this move so you just have to be patient on the daily chart i ever have something different so on the daily chart if you want to trade like i do so i have some positions which i'll hold for long and some which i'll come in and out so for the positions that i'll come in and out you can see last week i capitalized on the move lower we had a pullback yesterday and again i shot at this market and i expect this market to collapse all the way to the 1.1 major level so there's still some 200 pips to the downside on this market if you can be able to capitalize on this move so on the 4 hour chart if i show you the setup that i have on the 4 hour yeah you can see we had a drop a pullback a drop a pullback and now this drop is still moving lower so we are looking for at least 1.105 before the end of this week and then the hourly i can show you yeah i executed that trade at that point again and i'm expecting at least this drop to this target then i'll have set some positions and in the event of a pullback I will again come in short riding it lower all the way to the targets that I aligned. So I've shared with you the markets that I'm watching. I've shared with you three high, high probable trends. And I'm sure almost before the end of the week, if you can capitalize on these moves, you can have something in your pocket. So that will be it from me. Hope to see you guys next time. And Caleb will take over from me and do his analysis. Good afternoon, traders. So Caleb here. And today we're going to look at USD card USD card today. I'll only cover this pair because this is a pair I have a really high probability with looking at Aussie dollar. I do not really have a good uh, Focused on that. So today I'll focus with uh, USD card. So looking at this pair we can see the pair is in a channel formation at the same time uh we're respecting this ma's that you're seeing so market cross below and now we are currently retracing back uh to tap the upper boundary of the channel if you do not know if you do not know how to draw channels basically uh we teach this in our courses and basically what we do we just take the trend line so you take a tool of the trend line draw it touching the the first bounce second bounce why did not take this former top is because it's not in line with the lower boundary so if you take let's say i take this position if i take that week at the top and this week and then we decide to clone this so clone it just to get a parallel uh trend line in line with it when i bring it down here i do not get a clear bounce of this level so what i did is that i adjusted the downside so adjusting this downside to touch that level here 
and to start at this level so touching the wicks of that and then I delete this up one and then I clone this one so if you clone it what you get is that this is a much better uh, channel formation to follow so I just put it here making sure it touches this level and when I put it there I can get that bound so this is actually the start of the channel and you can see that's how I draw my channels just always getting that proper channel formation if you draw your trend lines or channels badly which this actually takes years of practice uh, slowly you'll be able to draw them nicely but if you don't draw them nicely you'll be trading the wrong type of trend line so that's what I'm watching so what I'm currently watching is that you can see I've marked this as my first touch a B uh, then we got that C market touched here and market has been retracing up back to touch the D level why I have a very high probability that market can come to this level and then shoot further down is that what I'm looking at is the momentum so you can see market once we came to this bottom we came with a lot of momentum then we stalled at this level market retraced to back to this level on the four-hour chart which will go down you'll see that it was mainly in a uh, sideways movement and then momentum started picking back up uh, especially this week so what I'm looking at is that market can come maybe even spike 61.8 as you can see my Fibonacci starts from this previous uh, lower high to this lower low at this level so 61.8 is pending at around that level so that is what i'm watching market can come spike it around 1.3750 so i do not want to be short just yet i was looking to enter a short yesterday but today i'm not looking to enter a short just being patient for my uh, analysis to pan out if i go down to the four hour chart just looking at it more clearly so the blue line is what i'm looking at as my main channel what we've just seen on the daily chart but if you zoom in closer we can see that there's another channel formation that is building up in here so what i'm looking at is that the market can push up to this level in line with that 61.8 what can happen is that market can also push all the way up to touch that c level and that is why i am ready to adjust my channel so if you get that push to the upside it won't really be a break okay it can be a break a false breakout and then market can fall further down from there but at the same time if you take this trend line and adjust it so always moving with the market if you take this trend line bring it to this previous lower high at that level as you can see and then adjust this one to come here so looking at this trend line bounces here so market bounced off here 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 yet again so this is also a very very strong trend line which market can respect instead of the other one and we can see market move further up if i take this and put 78.6 we can see market is in line with that level so that's what i'm watching market can come all the way maybe touch this level maybe even push further up to that point before we get that break to the downside but currently i'm watching this first trend line that i've just shown you and that is what i'll be paying attention to at the moment and also 61.8 a break above then i'll be looking for a market to shoot further up maybe get that break we have a retest at this level and then maybe market can shoot further up from there but i'm really really inclined to the downside but i'll be paying attention to this i'll update you next week how it goes looking at also the 50 moving averages if we close above it is what will make my bearish analysis nullified but so far i'm still bearish on this pair so that's what i have for you on oc usd card and i will see you guys next week when we do another breakdown analysis here at financial hub so thank you for listening and have a profitable week This is the time we tell you people to sit tight and watch the market closely.